Today at Starbase Edwards, let's create a snowball catapult. How can we do that? I'll show you. From your science kit, you'll need 10 popsicle sticks, 3 rubber bands, a plastic spoon, and a cotton ball. Set one of the 10 popsicle sticks aside for now. Now, take the other 9 and stack them all on top of each other into a tight stack like this. Take the first rubber band, whip it around, twist it, stretch it back over, twist it again, and stretch it back over a third time. The stack of sticks should now be securely attached like this. Take the popsicle stick you set aside and put it in between the bottom popsicle stick and the one above it, so like this. Now take the other rubber band and attach it to the other side of the popsicle sticks, just like you did with the first rubber band. Now take that protruding popsicle stick and slide it over a little bit so it's uneven. It should now look like this. Take the spoon and line it up with a shorter end of the protruding popsicle stick. Now you want to take the last rubber band and attach it to the popsicle sticks just like you did with the previous two rubber bands. Since the spoon is thinner than the stack of popsicle sticks, you'll need to wrap the rubber band around more times. Don't worry if the popsicle stick moves a little bit, you can fix that at the end. Make sure to hold on to them very securely to make sure the spoon and the popsicle stick do not get misaligned. And there you go, there is your completed catapult. We'll use the cotton ball as a stand-in for the snowball. Place it on the spoon, pull the spoon back, and let go. See how far you can launch it. And thus, using the elastic properties of the rubber bands and the flexible properties of the spoon, we created our very own functional catapult.